Good afternoon, peeps. It's nearly... No, it isn't nearly. I thought that was closer to five o'clock than it actually is. It's uh, near enough 20 minutes to five. Well, power supply seems to be working. Um... I actually found out what fan it was that was making rather <laughs> ill noises in my computer. That was actually the rear fan on this power supply. And I've sort of uh, had to bodge a new one in because I couldn't find one to fit the gap. It was... Uh, I couldn't use one this thick because it wouldn't go between the metal case and the circuit board. So I had to use a thin one like that, but all the thin ones I've got aren't big enough for the gap, so I just sort of uh, lined it up with one hole and chucked a screw in and then stuck another couple of screws in there just to stop it rattling. But yeah, the other fan that came out was uh, rather on the dead side. Well, it was dying, a very slow death. So it had been making lots of random horrible noises for a while and I was here it is and I was actually watching this spin when I was testing it on this system and it was just it was just so slow it was like that pretty much and sort of trying to spin up and then slow down and try to spin up and then it slow down and it's even making noises when I do it by hand so I think the bearings are gone yeah that's what's gone in that, the bearings are shot. If these brushless fans even have bearings, can I just pop this top off? Is that work? Can I pop the fan off and have a look? I've always presumed as it's something that rotates that it'll... Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I don't smell too sharp either. So, I need to try and, uh, yeah, well, if it weren't bearings going, it was something that was going on it, but whew, I don't actually smell too sweet either. So, that will go in, oh no, I don't smell too sweet, not now that I've done that. I'll put that back in later. Um, I've sorted this out as well. Found out the reason it was leaning forwards. It wasn't because of the block. Well, it was partially because of the blocks it was uh, sitting on, but not for the reason I thought. I've now got metal brackets either side like that because what happened, if you look, the block of wood doesn't go meet up right to the edge, so it was just all the weight of this cabinet was on this bottom board and it eventually just pushed the screws that are in the end there just pushed them through the wood and that's why that was leaning forward so I've stuck those two metal brackets in there and uh, that's fixed it and I've also moved the inside light it's now up there hang on a minute I wanted to put an LED light in, but with it in the middle, up here, the LED bulb would hang down too low. So I stuck it up there and I shortened the cable. So I've now got this there. I'll push button switch, which may end up being replaced at some point because uh, oh, it's working now. But it can be a bit funny that switch. I've actually just hot glued it to the wall. So if I ever have to take it down, you know, that'll pop off rather um, pretty easy. So, um, I've had quite a busy day, actually. I've seen Mum this afternoon as well. Uh, that was a good shot. That went straight in the bin. So I've got all of this lot to put back in this glass cabinet. Although I was actually tempted. Well, actually, I would if I could find a place to stick all of this lot on there then I'd get rid of that shelf unit and have 
well just sort of felt a bit less cramped up here but um, I've got nowhere to put anything that's on there well a lot of the Lego models I could put on that window ledge but then I've got to put the squirrels somewhere so what to do I don't want to go breaking up too many vehicles because I'm going to need vehicles around the town so uh, yeah a bit of a predicament there. I'm not sure how to solve it yet. <sighs> Have to rewire all that. Oh yeah, it seems like they've uh, cleared out what was the um, community bus or community transport service I should say um, garage around the corner because most of that is in the skip uh, I actually found um, I don't know if they're called the same thing anywhere else but we call them a pasting table I suppose you could call them a decorator's table they're like a fold out table and I think they're only called a pasting table here because you know you roll out your ro um, roll paper roll out your wallpaper and then just paste it and then pick it up and slab it on the wall find one of those in there and I thought that would actually be handy if we do any car boots next year we could actually set up two tables instead of the current one with everything else on the floor what that noise is outside <laughs> Because if it's actually in my bedroom, that doesn't sound very good. Jesus. There's absolutely ladybirds every friggin' where today. Look at this, got one on the inside here, look. Oh, I'm bishy. That's all over the front door downstairs. That reminds me, I've got to go downstairs and... Uh, Put that pasting table in the shed. It's down by the front door at the moment in the little cubby hole. Um, other than that, there really wasn't, not that I can see, anything worth salvaging. A small, tiny little baggage rack for a bicycle. I think that's someone trying to start a scooter outside. I think that engine is fucked. You probably can't hear it, but I can, and that really doesn't sound nice. That sounds like something is just about to completely fail and seize the engine up. Oh, it's stopped again. That's actually tempting to go down and have a look. I've got to anyway, so why not? I'll be back in a minute. Doesn't look like I've been anywhere, does it? I have. I just came into the bedroom for some reason. No, it's not a car trying to start. It's roadworks over yonder. I've got to sort that door out. It doesn't shut properly. Um. And while I was out there, I just found a bicycle abandoned. Um, over there in that little shelter. Lying on the floor, twisted handlebars, flat tyre, wobbly back wheel. It's a lady's mountain bike. And to be honest, It looks a little bit too good just to be an abandoned one. You know that someone's just dumped there. So um, I've posted on a couple of uh, local Facebook groups to see if there's an owner. Not the f a photo of it though. Because if I put a photo up with the post, anyone could come along and say, yes, that's mine. 
<laughs> but if they don't know what it looks like the owner can come along and describe it to me I'll know it's theirs that's why I haven't put a photo up so if the own if an, an owner does exist and it isn't just actually I do believe I think I know whose it is and she probably won't want it back if it's hers because she hated the damn thing so <laughs> I just got to keep an eye on that now well, that'll be my good deed if I can find an owner my extra long eyebrow hair and I keep hanging over my eyeballs and it's annoying. do something to eat now or leave it a little while you have one, one you message, message I'm gonna change the number of rings that phone ring before the answer phone kick in if I can remember how to do it may have to google the phone again because there is actually a PDF out there for these for this phone <laughs> probably is for a lot of these cordless phones which isn't a bad thing because that means you don't have to keep the bloody paperwork for the sort of once in a blue moon when you'd actually need to refer to it do firefighters do? Oh, I don't know. Sit there picking the nose? It's a Playmobil um, stop motion animation. There's a fly buzzing around my window and it's really starting to fucking annoy me. It's one of those noises that really do get on my tits. You know, that bzz 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 as it tries to fly through a window. Where are you, you bastard? Ouch. It's got the way up the other end where I can't bleep and get him now. I will get him. I'll get him later. When he least least expect uh, that expects it. <sighs> I suppose at some point I should stuff these models back in the cabinet. I've stuck the uh, decorator's table in the cut uh, not the cupboard in the shed, along with the lady's bike, and I've brought that chair up here as well that I've had down there drying for the past week. Had another look in that skip, and there really isn't anything worth pinching out of there anyway it is just a skip of shit <laughs> well there's some interesting bits like some long lengths of um, plastic piping and some um, of that mini trunking stuff for electrics but I've got no use for it I've got nowhere to store it either otherwise I would have because, you know, again, it's just, I hate waste like that. Um, I don't even know if my stepdad's got a use for anything like that. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down and uh, I will be back later. Probably after I've had something to eat and maybe a bath. What's the time now? Ten past five. Ooh. Probably be later this evening. I'll talk to you then. Right, it's uh, almost ten past ten now, so uh, 
and I was sort of sitting at the computer thinking I am utterly bored and uh, and then realised or remembered rather that I had this that I've got to take apart so I'm going to take what I want off of this hopefully um, I think some might be awkward where to start uh, should we start with, I think we'll start with the circuit boards so I'm just going to turn that that way just make sure you can see yep good make sure we've got the light on it now what cables am I going to need to actually I'm not going to unplug them I'm going to get my wire snips and cut them <laughs> I'm not going to need all the wire that's on here I only want to really save enough to allow me to um, reconnect if I have to like that that one I can unplug and unplug that as well it'll come off it's not actually as bad as I thought it was uh, I'll snip that one that lot's got to stay together I can snip that one um think that will do just for the moment. Now, how is this bloody What have I got a feeling I'm, I've got to take this board off? Yep. <laughs> um in order to get the lower board off. In that case, if it would be an idea to get the camera out of here first. I can remember how the damn thing is actually held in there. Uh, oh, see? I've got a plastic bolt there and a plastic bolt down there. Okay. Why would it be held in with a plastic bolt? I don't understand that. Yeah, there's the, I'm going to salvage this cable with the BNC connectors on. I'm not sure I've still got them from the other cameras, to be honest. There's some connection type blocks I'll take off of this as well. Ew, that's a bit rusty. Oh well. Um, I was going to have to go and get a pair of pliers. I've got a pair of pliers! Why is it? Oh joy. What about the lower one? Will that move? Yep. This one's coming off. Top one doesn't want to move. It's loose though, because I can. That's why it's all been a bloody plastic bolt. So why can't I get this pig and top one off? Because it's just um, springing back. Can I get in there to take that off? See if I can actually take the bracket off. Down there. Um, just bear with me a second. Let me get a few handful of spanners. That might make life a little easier. Better yet, I'll just get the whole tool tray. 
<laughs> that makes life even easier. And if the, if the video suddenly cuts and restarts, it's because the battery's died. So, I don't I thought 15mm was going to be a bit ambitious. I don't even know why I picked it up. What's that one? Is that an 11? It's not an 11, so that means it's a 12. It's that funny angle, so I can't quite see it. It's a 12. this has been outside in all weathers for almost two years. It's not actually that bad. I thought it was going to be a bit more uh, rustier than it is, especially these um, bolts and things, but it's not actually that bad. Here we go. Right. There we go. I've got the power cables holding it in, which is this red and yellow one, which I believe it's for 12 volt. Now what fucking cable's holding it in? Oh, that one. Right. <sighs> Don't want to snip that cable, do I? So... Snippity snips. I've got cable tie in here. Uh, I've got quite a few various cables stuck together here. Ah. Right. Snip that one. This is this is got all the wiring, uh, <laughs> yeah, for all the controls on the board and whatnot. Uh, not the controls, all the functions of the camera, the zoom and whatnot. That's going round. Yep, that's all connected. In there. I want to leave that as it is if I can. Ooh, there's a spider's egg under there. Charming. So, let's spin this around. Um, can I get in there with an ordinary screwdriver? No. I need a short one. Let's try my little stubby one. screwed on the back side. There's another one. 
droit. to turn it. It's a bit awkward because it's at an awkward angle but I haven't managed. Right, so that should come away from there. There we go. That's all I needed that to do. Now I can get to this screw which has got a nut on the other side. So I'm going to hold that. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there isn't one. Right. I'm surprised that no creepy crawlies have actually come out at me. Yep. Snip that one. Okay. Put the snips through that. That's one of the motor control wires. That is the other motor control wire. To control the panning and whatnot. And we snipped that. We should. No, or one more. Like that. Okay, so. The camera, complete with all its electrical gubbins, is removed. It's just the stuff on this side, which is the transformer, which I believe is where the 12 volt supply comes from. Yep, that's what this one is, the red was, or the red and the red and black. Red. There's like a plain red wire and a red wire with sort of black markings on it. And that goes into this, which is the um, 12 volt supply for the camera. There is another supply you can run this on. loose because this one did have the panning function because uh, not all the cameras had the same functions because not all of them had this extra board attached in fact this is only the other one so I've got a funny feeling these this one may have been right up in the town center uh, as it's got more functionality Just hazarding, I guess that is right. I've got fuse here. Which I might take off because when you're tinkering with things, a little fuse holder is not a bad thing. It doesn't. doesn't show where power comes in though. There's no diagram, there's just the pin out for the for the top up here. That's just got that's the um, only thing that's got on the diagram. There, that is the pin out for up here. Because it's got the socket, you know. Plugs in to there. And then that's the um how it would pan. But like I said, I don't really need those motors, so I'm not too fussed about that. I've got the 
main parts of it that I wanted. And I've actually got a feeling that this is actually power out. No, it isn't. This is power out, the orange one. For some reason, they've uh, heat shrunk the two orange wires to uh, the two brown wires. And that's power in. Does it tell me? 24 volt in. Right. This is going to need a very good clean up. Pardon me. Oh. Batteries died. Anyway, I'm back now. <coughs> and I found up my other board. They are exactly the same, these two boards. Except this goes to the other cameras. It's a DIN plug. This one doesn't have it. It's just got the cable wired straight into the connections there. This one's got a plug then there would be another plug on this lead and they would plug together but uh, like I said this camera hasn't got it doesn't matter um, I've actually been studying the boards and I'm not sure this one is actually needed I don't know what this one does oh well yeah but that's the control cable to control all the zoom and focus and whatnot. So, uh, we've got to figure out how that works. I have actually Googled these cameras and I can't. F Burn your tires up, why don't <laughs> Anyway, I can't find any schematics or anything. I suppose I could Google the camera model, I haven't done that. Got green light on the back. C instruction manual. Well, that's a little bit hard because I don't have one. <laughs> but, uh, two boards. It's got these on there, but there's nothing connected to them. Everything is labelled. Now that's your 24 volt in. Focus, zoom, tilt B, tilt M, pan B, pan M. Ah, so I suppose it would be sort of pan one way, pan the other, and tilt down, tilt up. Because uh, these cages, they do have more than one motor. You've got this one. Yeah, this one which operates the tilt. But I'm pretty certain. Yeah, there's no mechanism on here to pan it, so. A lot of squealing tires going on out there. Hmm. Last time I heard that, our fire engine went out late at night, so. Hmm. Maybe they've got a call, or maybe it is a couple of pillocks racing around town. Who knows? All right. So I'll put these together. This one, if I did use it, I'm not even sure it's going to work because there's a lot of dirt, a lot of corrosion, and a broken capacitor anyway. It's got bent and it's pulled the leg out of it. See. Let's see that. No, oh, and it's just snapped on me as well, so. <laughs> yeah, that definitely isn't going to work. Uh, Synectic Systems Limited. Ah. Maybe I have to Google Synectic um, Systems. If I Googled the actual cameras, but maybe if I Google the actual circuit board manufacturer might come up with what these um, wires are actually doing and you know maybe I would need like um, a joystick or a momentary switch 
system to operate. Hmm. I'm not going to Google it tonight though. Uh, as for that, there's just a few bits I want to take off. I'm going to take that off, that off, that off. Possibly that. I'm not even sure if I would actually use it. Uh, I've got enough of these motors. Yeah. Ah, yeah, this one will operate the panning, because the whole thing pans. I forgot it did that. <laughs> so, that's what the black and white wires are for, which uh, do, in fact, I believe, yep, yeah, plug into the pan. So I'm presuming these wires, not that one, these ones must be like the uh, inputs to tell it to do, you know, what, it's, what you want it to do. I'm presuming, like I said, without a diagram or something or some further information on these, I haven't got a clue. To be honest, this board isn't actually in too bad a condition. I'm not sure if that's muck down in there or dead spiders. No, that is muck. I'll take my air compressor to that and just give it a good blow it off. But like I said, not all of the cameras had this extra circuit board, so I'm not actually certain this is actually a necessary board. Another car just come winging up around the corner. But uh, yeah, it's all um, labelled on the actual solder mask here. It's all labelled up so I know what does what. 24 volts. Doesn't say if it's got to be DC or AC. I would expect, possibly, DC. I can't see no bridge rectifier on here. And this is what that is, or one of these are, I ain't got a clue. <coughs> it's definitely a little <laughs> very rusty battery, I think, there. I think that's what that green thing is. But all these chips are replaceable. They're all um soccer chips. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on each board. A couple of adjusting pots there. With two different settings on. <laughs> what the flaming hell is that? Looks like we might have some dip switches hiding in here. Yep, I'm not sure what these are. Caps of some sort maybe? No. Coils? Ah yes, I can see the windings on there. So they're coils of some sort. Perhaps they're a choke or something. Or, um, uh, what's the other name? I've forgotten the other name. There's something. <laughs> Not a choke. They could be, um, chokes. Well, there's another name and we can't think of it at the minute. side of these. Nee, a few s bits of surface stuff. And that's about it. There's a jumper. See, maybe when I Google Synaptic Systems Limited, I might be able to come up with a PDF or something. All the info for these boards, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I can uh, print off on the printer. And uh, if we are lucky, I can then do a video getting the whole thing to work. Because I've got 24 volt power adapters, so I could try one of those. It's either going to work as it should or just throw a hissy fit at me, isn't it?
I watched someone on YouTube called Mr. Gear, and he does um, <laughs> a bit of a mix. Um, he calls them life hacks, but some are, some aren't. They're more like just a little uh, project you could make if you were bored. Um, which, in a sense, is a bit uh, misleading, but he's not English either, so um, I've read the comments and some people get pissed off because he keeps putting like three simple life hacks or four simple life hacks and they watch it and there's like only one life hack or in some videos not even a life hack, but uh, who cares, the videos are still interesting. <clears throat> and it wouldn't sound the same if you just put something like um, three simple ideas or three simple projects or to me it just doesn't say it's as interesting <sighs> PC versus console as fast as possible not a bad channel, that tech cookie. Got lots of recommended videos from years ago. From the people I watch, years <laughs> ago. Jay the bike guy had a video like that. Replace caged bearings with loose bearings for button brackets on a bicycle that is. I didn't even know you could do that to be honest. But I think loose might actually last longer and support better than caged. I really hate caged. I think they're friggin useless shit. You know, that's why I opt for a um, sealed bottom bracket when I can on my own bikes. I think I've never had it apart on my hybrid bike, so I don't actually know what is on there. It looks like a sealed. I'm being Claude Butler, it likely is, but having said that, I've taken Claude Butler's apart before and found out it isn't. <laughs> uh... But, uh, yeah, I prefer sealed. My grey clawed butler has got it. The giant's now got it. Uh, I've got a funny feeling with that giant as it was just the right hand caged bearings that went that there is a problem with the cup and or axle. So I could have probably put, you know, went the cheaper option if I was buying bear, um, the bearings, which I didn't. Well, I didn't buy the um, sealed bottom bracket. I already had that. Um, if I'd replaced the axle and the right-hand cup as well. And I could have probably... Actually, I could have probably solved that problem if I'd gone out and bought a whole new standard bottom bracket, which would have cost me about a fiver. Obviously, uh, sealed is a bit more expensive, but I do prefer them. I think they're better, anyway. Right. Well, I don't know if Mum's going to phone. She's probably forgot or fell asleep. Oh yeah, I didn't get to put my power supply back in my PC. Well, it's not that I didn't get to do it, I just got too lazy and couldn't be asked to turn the PC off. <laughs> so, uh, that might be a job for tomorrow, if I can be asked. <laughs> hey. Huh. 
Here we go. Me. I haven't even put my models back in the cabinet yet. And I mustn't forget I want an LED bulb for that light fin. I don't even know what the wattage of it, the um, current bulb is. All I know is it's a um, filament bulb. One of these. Dinky little reflector bulbs. Uh, 240 volt, 25 watt. Not very bright or powerful, but I could put a 3 watt LED in there, which I think is the minimum I can actually get out of QDs. And it would be brighter than this and only use 3 watts of electric <laughs> and it would uh, probably illuminate that cupboard a lot better so it's, to me that just makes it worth um, changing it to an LED I've already checked an LED candle bulb will fit in that light socket in there I had to take the gold, the metal gold surround off the lamp holder I had to take that off anyway to unscrew it. I don't even know if you can get these tiny little reflector bulbs anymore. I mean, I know bulbs like your 100 watt filament bulbs were banned a few years ago, as were, um, well, actually, you still get the 60 watts. Well, I think that's actually the biggest you can get at the moment. But I know in Europe they actually want to phase out all filament bulbs. Because uh, the European Union seems to be quite uh, eco-friendly. Even though an LED bulb would uh, cost you more than this. But, having said that, They'd last a lot longer than this. In theory, if you get a good one. I mean, the ones in the bedroom, I've had those... Ooh, what, a year? It's got to be getting close to a year, if not a year already. And I know if I still had the um, filament halogen bulbs in there, I'd have replaced those several times in that year, because they just don't seem to bloody last. That's why I hated halogen GU10 bulbs. Although Mum's got the um, low voltage ones in her kitchen, and they seem to last a lot longer than the um, 240 volt ones. She's got the 12 volt ones in her kitchen. And uh, yeah, like I said, barely had to actually have replaced one the other day, and that's only the second one that's blown in probably about again I don't know eight months nine months I can't remember when I put those lights up for I know earlier this year so probably getting close to a year but the others haven't blown well actually one of them has one blue and one and one blue and another one but one of them hasn't actually blown touch wood <laughs> but I keep telling her to upgrade to the LEDs because you can get the same amount of light for a lot less power used meaning your electric meter is not running around and you know not just going racking up your bloody bill I mean usually by now I would have to uh, hit the emergency electric on my meter because I have a credit meter I don't get a quarterly bill. And as I've said before, I just have that electronic key that I take into a shop um, that does the pay point thing. 
hand it over, tell them how much I want, like 10, 15, 20, 50 quid, whatever. I think the minimum is a far... Actually, I don't know if there is a minimum. I think the minimum is actually about one pound. I think it's the bare minimum, but then to me that's pointless topping it up. But uh, I always put 15 pounds on, and usually I have to hit the emergency. Because it does give you that. Five pounds worth of emergency credit. Which is meant to last until you can um, either find some cash or, you know, until you can next top up your meter. But you have to pay that back. So if I hit the emergency now, if I used, I don't know, three pounds of it, and I then went to the shop and bought 15 pounds of electric, I would only get 12 pounds of credit on my meter because it would have paid back the three pounds I used <clears throat> of the emergency. It's not a bad system, but you can only get that one, if the that sort of meter is already installed when you move into a property, which it was here, or if you're in debt, if you you know if you're in arrears, if you're in debt with um, the electric company and gas, the gas companies here do the same thing with a the key. Um, they put in those credit meters as a payment plan. To um, repay what you owe, but the problem is, when you go out and get your credit, the meter will automatically deduct a set amount from your credit. It could be a couple of pounds at each payment. It could be five pounds. What well, I think you can agree on what gets deducted, but it gets deducted. So again, it's an easy way to pay back what you owe the company, really. But uh, I was lucky because I had one already installed when I moved in, so I just switched everything into my name. <clears throat> but yeah, since I've been using these LED lights everywhere, I haven't had to hit emergency yet. I haven't actually checked the meter. I might check that if I go down later or tomorrow, if I remember. Roll on tomorrow. Or tomorrow night, this time tomorrow night, I should say, because it's when I get paid. <sighs> Not that I'll see a lot of that. Never mind. Uh, I haven't had a bill yet for my phone. Actually, funny enough, Vlog and Life that I watch on YouTube said the same thing in a video I watched today. He hasn't had the bill yet for his phone. I haven't had mine. Well, he's sure it hasn't come through. And I usually get the email notification on either the 20 or the 21st of each month. And it's now the 25th. <laughs> so, either it's been sent and I've missed it. That might have happened, actually, because I, I brisk read my inbox half the time. So I may have actually missed it, but usually things like that I see and take note of. You gonna bloody call tonight, mother? Anyway. It's a bit annoying because I want to put some headphones on, you know, listen to a bit of music, and I can't because I won't hear the phone if she rings. <sighs> I've got a bottle of ketchup up here that I can't use a lot of. Sainsbury's a basics. 30 pence for that bottle. But my god, this stuff gives me heartburn. <laughs> That's why I actually get um, Lidl's brand. Because this one doesn't. Well, it does if I, you know, sort of s smother my food in it. All these empty fucking sauce bottles lying up here. <coughs> Two over there, got one here. These are all got to be rinsed out and put in the recycle bin. There's another two. Oh, sorry, Nemo. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. Uh, that'll do. 
Right, I'm going to shut the camera off, I think. Go for a pee before Mum does ring. Uh, if she rings, she might not. <laughs> Actually, after, because she was meant to do a full day at work, but because of her back, she only did half day. So I wouldn't be surprised if she's actually gone to bed and she's taken painkillers and fallen asleep. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. No idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I've got nothing to fix. Oh, yes, I have got something to fix, haven't I? <laughs> Duh. We'll put the power supply back in this computer now that I've got it working. Uh, put that power supply back in that one. Put that computer back where it's meant to be. Bob's your uncle, funny as your aunt. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.